there are different types of evidences are there which will give evidence of evolution number 1 is evidence from the paleontology number 2 is evidence from the comparative anatomy number 3 is evidence from embryology or embryological evidences number 4 is evidence from the physiology and biochemistry next number 5 is evidence from the natural selection here what we have to discuss we have to discuss one by one about the evidences of evolution first one evidence from the paleontology what is the paleontology 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 means study of fossils study of fossils if you know about evolution if you get the idea about evolution by using the fossil that is called the paleontology paleontology is nothing but study of fossils in the evidence of in the evidence from paleontology by using the fossils we can get the information which is related to evolution here study of fossils is called paleontology what are the fossils fossils means fossil means hard parts of the organisms hard parts of organisms hard parts of organisms which are lives in past which lives in a past not present past okay that that found in rocks okay they are embedded they are found in rocks mainly rocks fossils are mainly found in rocks again rocks are become into sediments sediments of earth that is about the fossil fossils are mainly bones why because bones are important part material of living organisms here fossil means hard parts of the organisms one they are lives in past but now that are found in rocks again the rocks are become into an sediments of earth example of how can you know that about the di- information which is related to dinosaurs okay how can you know the evolution of dinosaurs that is because of fossils only we have find the fossils of dinosaurs based on the fossils of dinosaurs we can get idea which is related to evolution of dinosaurs like that if you get the idea of idea about evolution based on the the fossils that is called the paleontology here fossil means hard parts of the organisms which lives in past but that are found in rocks rocks are again becoming to sediments if you think this is the earth the earth contain different sediments this is one sediment this is another sediment lot of sediments are found when these sediments are found the rocks are becoming to sediments then that sediments are forming during that particular period this sediment is formed at one time and this one is formed at one another time like that sediments are formed at a different time periods if you find the fossil in this sediment layer based on that you can say that that organisms which are lives in the in the by the formation of this sediment died and become into fossil okay based on the type of sediment in which we have find the fossil we can identify the age of fossil also if you find the fossil at the very top layer or very top sediment they based on that we can say that that is just that died just few years back okay if you find the fossil at the very deep sediment based on that we can say that the sediments are belongs to very past times that is about the sediments okay this is about the completion of evidence from the paleontology after that we have to see about the evidence from the comparative anatomy what is the comparative anatomy by comparing by comparing organisms by comparing organisms which lives in present which lives in present and the past if you compare the organisms which lives in present and past you can get one idea about the the ancestor of particular organisms if you compare the organisms which lives in present and which lives in the past if you have any similarities based on that you can say that the past organisms are ancestors of present day organisms that is about the evidence from comparative anatomy by comparison between the by compare between the past organisms and present organisms we can get 
one idea of co evolution that is about the evidence from comparative anatomy we can study evidence from comparative anatomy by using the homologous organs and the analogous organs okay first we have to discuss about the homologous organs after that we have to discuss about the analogous organs first we will see about the homologous organs definition homologous organs means the organs the organs which have same structure or origin same structure or origin but different function different function the organs the organs of organisms which have same structure remember same structure or otherwise or same origin okay they have same structure or origin but they have different function those are called the homologous organs okay homologous organs are because of the divergent evolution okay divergent evolution divergent evolution means different here what i mean same structures are evolved for different functions if same structures are evolved for the different functions that is called the homologous sorry divergent evolution here homologous organs are evidences of divergent evolution what is the divergent evolution same structures are evolved or formed to do different functions it is called the, the divergent evolution here first we have to discuss about the examples of homologous organs if you know if you discuss about examples of homologous organs then you will get one idea which is related to homologous organs okay first example for homologous organs is four legs of mammals okay if you see the four legs of mammals right four legs of human beings this is the four leg of human beings man next four leg of tiger tiger what we, what is the best example for the homologous organs four legs of mammals we will take few example few mammals to explain about the the four legs of mammals first i have taken man four leg above again i have taken tiger four leg after that we have to take blue whale whale four leg four legs of blue whale next i have to take the four legs of the bat this is the four legs of the bat if you see the four legs of man and four legs of tiger four legs of blue whale and four legs of bat all contain same structure same structure means same bones same number of bones and same type of bones are present in all organisms man contain numerous bones the total number of bones present in the four legs of all mammals is that only the different types of bones which are present in the four limb of each mammal is humerus radius ulna carpals metacarpals phalanges okay this is the bone pattern which is present in the four limb of man like like same type of bone pattern is present in the four limb of tiger also tiger four limb also contain humerus radius ulna carpals metacarpals phalanges blue whale four limb also contain same bone pattern humerus radius ulna carpals metacarpals phalanges and the bat four limb also contain same bone pattern that is humerus radius okay carpals metacarpals phalanges here all these mammals contain same type of bone pattern but they has a different function structure is same because all contain same type of bones but the function is different the four limb of man is used for the different function like writing okay uh, next four limb of tiger is used for the hunting four limb of whale is used for the swimming four limb of bat is used for the flying here all these four limbs of mammals contain the same structure but they will show the different function hence the four limbs of mammals are best example for the homologous organs after that we have to take one example of homologous organs in the plants also 
he will take one example from the plants thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita the example of homologous organs in plants is thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita if you see the thorns of bougainvillea these are the thorns of bougainvillea thorns thorns of bougainvillea if you see the thorns of bougainvillea that are the origin originated from the axillary bud axillary bud and if you see the tendrils of cucurbita these are the tendrils of cucurbita these are the tendrils of cucurbita these tendrils of cucurbita also originated from the axillary bud what is the definition of homologous organs the organs which has same structure or origin here same origin is there okay same origin but different function thorns are used for the protection thorns are used for the protection and tendrils are used for the climbing okay thorns are used for the protection and the tendrils are used for the climbing here what happened both are has same origin that is the axillary bud but they have the different function thorns are used for the protection and tendrils are used for the climbing that is one example of homologous organs in the plants that is the thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita next we have to see about the analogous organs analogous organs are exactly opposite to the homologous organs homologous organs means same structure or origin here analogous organs means the definition of analogous organs is different structure different structure or origin the organs which have a different structure or origin but same function but the same function the organs which have a different structure or origin but same function are called analogous organs here analogous organs are example for the the convergent evolution convergent evolution means different structures are evolved for the same function that is called convergent evolution here we have to see that examples of analogous organs first example for analogous organs is wings of bird and wings of butterfly wings of bird and wings of butterfly if you see here this is the wings of wing of bird this is the wing of bird and this is the wing of butterfly wing of bird and wing of butterfly here what happen both have different structure wing of bird and wing of butterfly has a different structure but both are used for the flying only same function hence wings of bird and wings of butterfly are example for the analogous organs what is the function of this both flying only but structure is different the organs which have different structure and same function is called analogous organs here wings of bird and wings of butterfly has a different structure and same function that is flying hence these are example for the analogous organs next we have to see another example for analogous organs that is the eyes of octopus and eyes of mammals here eyes of octopus and eyes of mammals mammal eye and octopus eye has a different retinal position means a different structure different retinal position means different structure but function is uh, both are used to see only both are used for to see only hence here eyes of mammals eyes of uh, octopus both are used for same function that is for uh, seeing but uh, to see but they have a the different retinal position hence these are also example for the analogous organs next another example for analogous organs is flippers of penguins and uh, flippers of uh, dolphins if you see the flippers of a penguin this is a penguin penguin mainly it is in the 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 polar regions this is the flippers of penguin and if you see the flippers of dolphin our national aquatic animal is dolphin if you see the flippers of a dolphin both are used for swimming only but they have a different structure that is about the one example of analogous organ uh, one if you see the one example of analogous organ in plants that is the sweet potato and the potato this is the sweet potato sweet potato this is the potato both have different origin 
sweet potato is modified root sweet potato is a modified root and potato is a modified stem but both has same function that is used for the storage of food both are used for the storage of food that is about the the analogous organs example in plants that is sweet potato and potato next we have to see the definition of divergent evolution divergent evolution homologous organs are result for the divergent evolution why because we see the homologous organs the homologous organs has a same structure and different function here divergent evolution means same structures are evolved same structures are evolved to do different functions hence homologous organs are best example for the divergent evolution next convergent evolution second one is a convergent evolution convergent evolution analogous organs are result of convergent evolution why because analog analogous organs means here they have different structure or origin but same function here what happen convergent evolution means different structures are evolved for the same function here same function will do by the different structures or same structures sorry here same function is done by the different structure or different structures are evolved for the same function is called a convergent evolution that is about the divergent evolution and the convergent evolution which is under the evidence from the comparative anatomy